This is the worst. <laughs> Hello everyone, so this is Mr. Deluxe. <laughs> what? I'm sorry, I just realized how stupid that sound is. Oh. How's it going, bros? The Cato 707 here. Well, given the Cato has 707 in his name, can we get 7 likes on the video, guys? Thanks. So, as you read from the title, this is the 1 minute challenge, or rather the hashtag 1 minute challenge. Now, the idea behind this is to make a play match lobby and to set the time to one minute and to try and KO my opponent before the timer runs out. Not a TKO, but an actual legitimate win, like as if I've you know drained all their health. So that's what I'm trying to do here. So this is my loot breaker moves out, or I guess my main yeah, this guy does not know how to manage his stamina. This is my main competitive moves there. It's essentially the same as my normal one, with the only except well, there's three exceptions. Instead of having the Super Saiyan Brawl as a Goku Black Super Soul, I now have the legendary Super Saiyan Brother Super Soul, or the Kale Super Soul. That's gonna upset so many people. And well, the reason for that is because my idea going into this was to go for Super Saiyan 3 at the very start, and because of course I need max well five bars of key to go for it. You know, I've got it right here, and it's not really the best idea because there I get my guard broken by Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black. Okay, that's a fantastic start to this video. Now, the other changes are instead of having, well, I think in one fight I may have just my normal moveset, but I did decide to replace Shining Slash with Spirit Stab. I just thought it would be very nice to use for this video. And of course, Super Saiyan as my transformation instead of Future Super Saiyan and. Hyper movement as my evasive. Just in case you guys didn't know, it's a fairly decent evasive. I use it from time to time. Uh, so yeah, I've also changed my QQ band to give me plus points in key stamina, and I believe it is strike supers rather than having just plus points in stamina, basic attack, and strikes. So yeah, um, yeah, I mean, decent moves to be honest. But I wouldn't really. Well, I don't think I would run this move there. Uh, but yeah, I'm just trying to think. Like, I don't think I'd run this move set if this was like a normal match. But you can see right here, the time limit did run out. I did win despite having my guard broken at the very start. So, I think, you know what? I've got to give him a rematch. I've got to try and get that KO instead of just getting that technical win. So, I picked the time chasm stage. He picked Super Saiyan Blue. As you can say, Rose. He picks this time for the rematch Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta or Vegeta Blue. And definitely not Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. But here he went for four shield or Saiyan barrier if you're OG, I suppose. We've gone to Clash here. So right now, I mean, right this second, it's not actually looking too good for me. And the reason why I say that is because, okay, well, well maybe now it's starting to look a bit better. But the reason being is because, yes, I do have a ton of stamina and key. But he did have more health than I did. And because this is only 60 seconds long, you know, you need to make sure that you either have more health than your opponent. You know, pretty much at all times, or just make sure you can like make a you know an insane comeback. But there, I do go for Sonic Ball, and he's going to turn the I guess like the toys of this battle. Go for Justice Combo there, and from this point, I'm thinking, well, okay, I'm I'm pretty sure I'm going to win now. He goes for Spirit, uh, spirit Sword, not Spirit Stab. He goes for Spirit Sword as a I'm guessing maybe Desperation. I don't know if he scanned my moves or not, but I've got Hyper Movement, so that was just very very bad. <laughs> Again, it just really did feel like it was a bit of a desperation time. I don't know why he... I mean, I don't know if he had enough key to go for a final command pattern instead. I don't know. But we're going to the next fight for this video. So, okay, again, Super Saiyan 3 from the very beginning. It's... Well, for what I want to do for this video, I think it's a good idea, but it can easily backfire. Uh, took the backfire, I go for Mystic Flash. Very nice there. And that very nice, I guess, like that instinct perfect block. Like, I didn't know I was blocking there, maybe. I don't know like, if that's ever happened where you get a perfect block off by... Yeah, not even thinking, I don't know. Like, I'm not trying to say, oh, the ordering signal is really cringeworthy, but it's like, I guess I like, just reflex or look, I don't know. Um, so, yeah, so again, he's picked here. Uh, I mean, the fight's on myself now. Like, <laughs> I mean, yeah, great. Force uh, stamina break there. Awesome. Fantastic. Another one there that actually does here. And into the sledgehammer. And something about, well, given what I want to do for this video. I can't really look at my opponent's moveset unless I have like, I don't know, like I have a massive lead of them and there's a few, I don't know, like maybe 30 or so seconds left because scanning a moveset that's like what, another 1, 2, maybe 3 seconds wasted there because, yeah, it's just great. So I'll pick Pla uh, Pla Pla Pla. So now I pick Planet Namek and, I mean, like I've just mentioned, I can't really 
scan my opponent's moves there. I mean, I do right here. I believe I saw reverse Mercury Senko. I honestly can't remember what his second ultimate is. But I scanned it there. Maybe a bit risky because, again, well, I mean, we're more or like, what? A third of the way through, like, as if, well, we are as of right now. Ting. Or ping, whatever. Or ding, I don't know. Man, it's not hot. Okay, so, um, yeah, again, like I would mention, because I can't really scan my opponent's moves out without wasting time, it's like, well, I don't really know what my opponent will be running until, I guess, it's like too late, so I can't really prepare for it. So here, yeah, I think I go for Spirit Stab in a moment. Uh, no, it goes for his evasive. Don't know why, because that's just a ton of stamina he just wasted after a very painful stamina reset. Go for Aura Burst there, into Spirit Stab. Damn, that looked painful. But don't get me wrong, that looked very, very nice. Okay, next battle for this video. I actually can't remember what this guy picks in the hell. Um, <laughs> oh, and I probably, just maybe, I probably should have mentioned this towards the start of the video. But if you guys want to do something similar to this and to show me, go for it, upload it and title it as hashtag one minute challenge. Then tweet me your videos and who knows, maybe I'll, I guess maybe, you know, do a follow up or a sequel or shine off, you know, the best ones I get. Maybe, I don't know. This could be a brick of the thing on the channel. But right there, I break his guard into Sonic Bomb. Yeah, right now, in terms of the time, because to be honest, most of the time while well, I was recording this uh, video, it wasn't so much I was trying to fight my opponent, but okay, duh, yeah, I was, but it was more so because, I mean, like, how short was that for, like, 20, like, 30-ish seconds? That's pretty cool. But it was more so just trying to defeat them before the timer ran out. Oh, and guys, I think I'm going to lose this fight because this guy is hashtag number one. Or just number one, I guess. Um, so, yeah. I mean, amazing nickname, like, let's be fair. Guys, leave a like on the video. Okay, great. So, it's, that's never gonna get old, I promise. Okay, so, I did try and go for Super Saiyan 3 at the absolute beginning, or the very start, but I dashed forward instinctively, I guess, I don't know. But I do go for Super Saiyan 3, you know, after that, so that's great. He doesn't break my god. I think he actually... Look, I think at the very start he did try and go for an all burst, but because I moved... But towards my, I guess, like, move forward or something. That's actually enough to, I guess, I like, cancel it. Well, not cancel it out, but not to break my guard or something. I don't know. So, I guess it worked out. There's guys his guard broken. Let's be fair. At this point now, I don't think there's enough time for him to actually do enough damage to defeat me. I just don't think there is. He got the Super Saiyan 3. He's a bad man with a bad man shirt. Bad man. So, yeah, I break his guard there. Got my hyper movement. Bit of a disrespectful finish, I will admit. But, yeah. great, awesome. So, we're going to the next fight before this video. Oh man, okay, so this guy, it felt like, I forget which Poles um, uh, letter it is, I can say number, no, I forget what the letter of the Poles is, I believe it's either fighting Poles K or fighting Poles F, or when you use it, it doesn't drain your health, when you get hit, it just drains your stamina, I forget which one it is, I believe it's either K or F, but I think they both have a somewhat similar effect. But yeah, like, you can just, like, go off for the throw, which I forgot until, like, in a moment. He got off for a stamina break there. It doesn't work. Of course he's a Mount Earthling. Of course he is. To go off for the throw there. He's only for 79, though, but I just wanted to show this fight because I thought it was a bit, eh? Kind of, you know, like, a bit... I, I wouldn't say cheesy, but, I mean... Well, you could say that this whole video is cheesy because it's, like, a one-minute challenge, but... I doubt this guy had this move that made just in case. He joined a lobby with, you know, a, a um, lobby that was only set to one minute long. I just don't think that's possible. Well, okay, it is possible, but it's such a specific thing that I just don't think it's plausible. I'll just say that. So, I thought just a combination there. I just wait because I knew I had more health and I knew he wouldn't even be able to attack me before the timer ran out. So, I'm just standing there like a Super Saiyan 3 badass. Love it when the footage glitches. That's fantastic. Towards the end there. Next one for this video. Okay, so this guy also picks Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. I can't say I'm surprised. Okay, so, yeah, okay, so this is kind of, I mean, that was a very nice pair of luck on his end then, as I went for the um, key blast. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but damn, that looked very nice. But because of what this video is, I've said like seven times so far, but, okay, because I want to try and defeat my opponent within a minute, that really means that I need to make sure I force my opponent to drain their stamina. And I'm not too sure if he actually perfect blocked one hit from that misty flash i'm not entirely sure uh, but yeah, there's about like what 25 seconds left i mean it's looking fairly even right now mate i mean he does have more key than i do but i do go for like just this combination here which will give me a massive lead i wouldn't necessarily say it's over yet I and mean, he goes for a perfect uh, not perfect, well he goes for a celebrate there 
I didn't really see because I was behind the tree, but I do break his guard into the sledgehammer, and that's going to be game, I think, is it? I don't know. Three, two, one. Oh, wow. Quite literally within the last second. Damn. So, yeah, I am very sorry about that desync. I have no idea what the hell just happened, but oh well. So, going to the final opponent for this video. He picked Rolls A. I got Super Saiyan 3 at the very start. I don't know how he knew I was going to do that, but he brought my guard. But I swear, I didn't hit him, but the, I guess, like the transformation impact still activated and sent him flying away. So I did hit him, which of course made him vanish. So that way I would have gone for Mystic Flash because that would have been like the common sense thing to do. Again, hit him as he goes for Sun, um, not Sun Death. Yeah, Sun Death being what? I was going to say Sun Storm, but I thought, no, it's Sun Death being. No, it's not. What? I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's very nice. And so again, well, I say again, we're like, what, halfway through this fight now? Uh, yeah, just standing still here. I don't know. Well, he got for instant transmission. I don't know if he meant to go for sudden death beam there. I'm not entirely sure, but here I do break his guard. And unfortunately, well, I will say this: I do win this fight, but I don't win by a complete knockout. It's a yeah, you know, TKO, technical knockout. We've got 10 seconds left now. I almost got enough. Well, okay, as of right now, as I was saying it, I do have enough here to go off for one more super attack. I tried going for the Sonic Bomb, even if that did hit, I don't think that would have defeated him, but still, I would have been able to do more damage. Again, like that other guy who picked Super Saiyan Rose, a gold to black, we both finished just by staring off, well, staring each other out, I guess. So going into the final fight for this video, this guy does pick his avatar now, and I was going to transform at the very beginning, but I was thinking, you know what, no, I'm going to wait, because I just had a feeling he would have gone for the, the um, Homing Dash again, but he didn't. I didn't, or at least not straight away, I don't know. So yeah, he does have... Well, he has pretty much no stamina, but he does have, as you just saw, gravity impact, and of course, he also has with that perfect shot, a very deadly combination there. Break his guard into the sledgehammer, I fly down here, got the sonic bomb, very nice there, I thought that just looked very smooth in my opinion. Got the spirit stab, he's a, well, his key, well, his key, well, his stamina was recovered, so I went for Mystic Flash. And again, even though he got a stamina reset, I mean, a painful one, but even though he did get a stamina reset, I've made him use, as of right now, essentially all of his stamina, so that's great for me. Yeah, I'm just trying to make sure that if he does go for another gravity impact, I've got enough stamina to just vanish, well not vanish, but to um, you know use my base of L to it. His super activates there, I mean at this point it's game over, let's be fair. Yeah, right there, go for the Sonic Bomb, and that is game. Yeah guys, this was honestly really fun to do. Maybe I'll do another version of this in the future or part two or something like that. If you guys do want to see that, do leave a like on this video and do let me know in the comments. And guys, with that being said, thank you ever so much for watching this video and I will see you next time.